Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I have my pharmacist's daughter pre-order. I'm so excited. Today is Thursday, November 17th, and it was dropped off in my mailbox about an hour ago. Um, all I did was slice the box open, and that is all, and I saw what the sample was, but I have not sniffed anything, looked at anything. Um, this order was placed on October 7th, and it was a six to eight week um, turnaround time. It's funny because I was talking to my friend Megan yesterday. We were talking about different, different wax orders, and um, she did the calculations and said that I think the 19th, would have been six weeks or maybe the 18th and then like December 2nd would have been eight weeks so this came early in my opinion so I'm super happy I don't even remember what I ordered I tend to place my orders and then I don't really look back I kind of like to be surprised um so what else was I going to say about that I think that's it. So let's just get right into it. Um, I believe with the pharmacist order, it's free shipping at $100. So, you know, I don't order from them a lot. So when I do, I try to hit that, um, that mark so that I can get free shipping. So there's that. Anyway, this is a mother-daughter company. Ainsley, I'm ho I hope I'm saying your name right, her name right, Ainsley and Kim. Their next restock is scheduled for today, so I don't know if this will get up in time before their restock is. I don't know if they do them at night, in the morning, I don't know, but definitely check them out. The pharmacist's daughter wax works fabulously in my home. Um, they are a Parasoy wax um, formula. This is all of their information. They are very, very active on um, Facebook, and they also do lives, so you can go on and um, get wax that way, too, if you're looking for something. I think they do them usually on Wednesdays, if you're looking, like, not to be part of a pre-order. I don't know if that's where they do leftovers. I honestly have not um, ever ordered from that. I'm trying to be good, and I don't need any, any temptations to buy more wax. So, um, came really well packaged, lots of packing peanuts in here. So I'm just going to move this box out of the way and I'm going to move this over and we will just get started. So it doesn't come with an invoice. I don't think unless it's like down at the bottom, but I got one sample and it is in fair food. When I first looked at that, I thought it said fall food. Oh, this smells like pumpkins, donuts, and I'm sure some other, some other, um, I'm sorry about the phone, some other fair types of food. So always, always, always appreciate a sample. I ordered all souffles. I honestly don't remember what else was offered, but I'm pretty sure it's all, all souffles. So the souffles are $5.80, I believe. Okay, so the first one that I have is strawberries and cream. And I did, I did say that I ordered this October 7th, right? Okay, so strawberries and cream are, is strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and sugar waffle cone. Oh, I like this strawberry. I don't know if I've had hers before. I like it. It's not like overly sweetened, which gives it that artificial scent. This is good. Really pretty. And it definitely smells like strawberries. Now remember, this is on cold. On cold. And I don't think anything that I have in this order is or things that I've ever had from them before. So it's just my opinion. I have not warmed any of this yet. I just opened it and I'm just sharing it with you and telling you what I smell on cold. Doesn't mean that that's what it's gonna smell like when I warm it or 
it's, you know, we all know how that works, right? We get our wax, we do cold snaps, then we melt it and we come back and we talk about how it performed for us on warm. I'm just excited about this order. I like to, I don't, I feel like I don't share every wax purchase that I make. Um, but it's been a while since I've done one from the pharmacist order. I'm very excited for this order. So I don't, on cold, I'm not picking up like the waffle cone. Does not mean anything. Next, I have Smells Like Snow. Super excited for this one. This is Sinus Blend, Icy Peppermint, and Swedish Dream Salt. I have had Swedish Dream Salt on its own and I absolutely love it. Oh, and you can really smell it in here. As well as like eucalyptus, peppermint. Oh, this is going to be so nice um, on colder nights or in the event that, oh, it's so good. Somebody in my house gets sick. Smells like snow. Oh, I should have got more of this. This smells so good. Boy, that Swedish Dream Salt is powerful. I mean, I know when I've warmed it on its own, it's powerful. I thought that um, maybe it wouldn't, you wouldn't smell it so much in here, but it's fantastic. So that's Sinus Blend, Icy Peppermint, and Swedish Dream Salt. Fabulous. Then I have Sleigh Ride, which is Twisted Peppermint, Red Berries, Pine, and Marshmallow Fireside. Now, if they don't put dates on anymore, they did at one point, but they don't. Oh, super pretty, hot pink. Wax, and I told you guys, I, Twisted Peppermint, Red Berries, Pine, and Marshmallow Fireside. Definitely get that peppermint, you get the pine. Wow. And I'm getting the Marshmallow Fireside. Red Berries, I don't know. Maybe blend it in there with pine, but that's good. Oh my gosh. This smells like it's gonna be a powerhouse. Powerhouse. I have another peppermint from the pharmacist order. I don't know if it's a, I'm trying to remember. If it's sweet pep something. One of their, like just peppermints alone. Um, yeah, okay. Winter Beach House, Blue Sugar, Driftwood, Salt Air, Lemon Zest, and Sand Dunes. This was kind of my wild card. I do not love um, like the Salty Sea Air that much. Wow. I do really like Blue Sugar though. Sand Dunes, I don't know, but I get lemon in here for sure. Salty Air. Lemon, maybe some driftwood, I, I don't know. But this is a beautiful, beautiful blend. And that's that. This one on cold, this doesn't smell like it would be crazy, crazy strong. It just smells like it would be like a really nice, um, like bedroom scent, so. And I will start warming these right away. I don't, um, I don't really feel like her stuff needs to really cure. This is Pastry Shop. It's Jelly Donut, Morning Beignet, and Strawberry White Cake. Pretty, oh, pretty purple wax. Oh yeah, you get those Jelly Donuts. And I'm getting strawberry. So I don't know if the Jelly Donuts is like a strawberry jelly donut, and then there's more strawberry with the strawberry white cake. Or if jelly donut is just like a wild berry or something. Uh, I have smelled morning beignets from other vendors. I don't know that my nose necessarily detects this. It's not very cold here today. It's not hot. It was um, like 70 for most of the afternoon. But it smells good. Not super, super sweet, like artificially, nothing like that. This is good. And I don't think I've had anything from the pharmacist order that has had jelly donut. I could be wrong. I tend to forget <laughs> things, but I've definitely never had this blend. So it smells great. 
Sweet Mountain Java. Super excited for this one. Um, have I had any of her coffee? I want to say no, but I've heard people rave and rave about her coffee and her coffee blends. So I knew I needed this. It is pumpkin pecan waffles, cinnamon sugar donuts, vanilla butter fudge, sugar cookie royale, and coffee house. So it's for coffee house coffee. Have I had it? Ooh. This is delicious. This is like very realistic. Coffee, it's making my mouth water. Um, oh, this is like a nice, like robust, but not bitter coffee. And not overly sweet, which I thought it would come across maybe sweet with the pumpkin pecan waffles. You get, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My mouth seriously is watering smelling this. The cinnamon sugar donuts. Oh, this is yummy. Really yummy. <gasps> Butter fudge, vanilla butter fudge. Um, I don't know, you guys, this is so good though. Wow, her coffee house mixed with that pumpkin pecan waffles, the sugar donut, cinnamon sugar donut. Oh, I almost feel like when I take it away from my nose that I get a little like buttery note which could be from the sugar cookies. Oh, yum, 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 yum. This I will definitely be trying out this weekend, which is really only the only time that I um, warm coffee or if I'm like on vacation. So delicious. On holiday, sea salt. I think I, some of these I just ordered because of their names. <laughs> Um, because this is sea salt, ocean mist, sea moss. Oh, it's because it's the zest soap type. That's what drew me in on this one. <clears throat> Ooh. Fresh, fresh, clean. Oh, this is good. Definitely get that zest soap with so many added compon components in here. Sea moss. Um, I feel like I just had something that had sea moss. Oh, this is so pretty. Mm. Ocean mist, sea moss, sea salt. This isn't really sea salty to me, which I'm 100% okay with. Boy, that zest is powerful and I love it. Absolutely love it. I am so excited to warm this one to see how those other scents mingle with the zest. Again, that's on holiday. Loving all of her colors. King Cake. This is Morning Beignet, French Custard, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. Boy, I was on a Cinnamon Sugar Donut kick. Um, but I love it. I do love cinnamon sugar donuts. Oh, this is interesting. This isn't, I don't think, this is not what I thought it was going to smell like. This to me, I'm not really getting cinnamon sugar donuts. Maybe this is more of the morning beignet. This is nice though. Sugar cookie dough, French custard. I don't know what that smells like in wax. This is good though. Very different, not like any bakery that I've had before. I'm curious if this is gonna be a heavy hitter. That smells good. Yeah, totally not, I, as I'm opening it, not in my, what I was thinking in my head that it was gonna smell like, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So that is King Cake. I have more. Falala, which is cranberry relish, lemon curd, and fizzy pop. Cranberry relish. Oh, and lemon curd. Oh, this is nice. Fizzy pop, definitely. Cranberry, yes, and lemon curd. Oh, oh, I like this. 
This is tart, tart and fizzy and delicious. This will be so fantastic. Like New Year's or even, I mean, let's be real, all this heavy bakery, heavy fall stuff, taking a break. We just had to take a break um, from all of that. You guys, I feel like my mouth is still watering over that coffee. What was it called? Um, Sweet Mountain Java. The Fala La is really nice. I'm glad. Ooh, really glad that I got this. Tart, tart, tart. In a good way with that fizzy pop. I gotta take a sip. I'm having a cup of coffee. I have a lot of work I have to do tonight. And I don't want to lose any steam. Um, fireside cider. Mold cider and marshmallow fireside. Yes, please. Ooh. Ooh. This is a nice combination. So cider lane ish. With that marshmallow fireside. But it's definitely more like woodsy than marshmallow fireside has that like sweet component. This smells like more woodsy with like a um oh it's good though. Yeah, that malt cider is pretty. It's like I'm when I smell it, I'm not I'm not getting them both at once. Like I smell it once and I get the cider. Smell it again and I get the marshmallow fireside. But like I said, it's more woodsy to me in a good way. But yeah, like cider lean like. I'm not saying it's exact because I don't I don't know, and it's been a while since I've smelled that, but that's the kind of vibe that it's giving me. This is nice. So far, I did a, I did really well picking picking things up for myself. Hot coffee and camping, espresso. Now I'm like wondering, have I had her espresso? I had to have tried some one of her coffees somewhere. I had to have. Okay, anyway. Espresso, hot cocoa, oh, hot cocoa camping, which is crushed peppermint, marshmallow fireside, wood sage, and sea salt. Okay, so, um, not the biggest fan of chocolate, cocoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh, the peppermint in here with espresso, holy... Holy, holy, holy. This smells so good. I can't smell wood sage or like sea salt like as I'm sniffing it right now. Oh my gosh, peppermint and espresso, delicious. That's really good. But I still think that smells so much stronger. This smells amazing though. Oh my gosh, so good, you guys. So good. This, like I said, I typically only warm coffee scents on the weekends. This, this coffee, hot coffee and camping. Mm, I, this would be good at night. Like relaxing to have that smell of the espresso and the peppermint. Mm. Oh, I really like this. Oh my gosh. So excited. Custard, here we go. French custard, which was in one of one of these. French custard, pie crust, French vanilla, and sweet and creamy, which I don't know what sweet and creamy is, but it's okay. Pretty, pretty, bright, sunshiny yellow color. Custard, mmm. Does sweet and creamy have coconut in it? Or does French custard? I honestly don't know. This smells very coconutty to me. I like it though. It's like a toasted, it's like a toasted coconut. Mmm. Oh, this is good. 
the more I smell it, the more I'm like, <laughs> mm, that is really good. Pie crust? I think so with that toasted, co I'm smelling toasted coconut, you guys, I'm sure. You're probably thinking there's no coconut in there. I honestly don't know, but that's what my nose is picking up. And I like it. Coffee Express. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have any coffee really in my collection. So maybe that's what I was thinking. This is espresso, cinnamon sugar donuts, pumpkin pecan waffles, and coconut cream pie. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, now I'm going to start to lose my mind. Have pumpkin pecan waffles? Yes. The Sweet Mountain Java has pumpkin pecan waffles, cinnamon sugar donuts. Um, the Sweet Mountain Java has sugar cookie royale and coffee house and vanilla butter fudge. And this has espresso, cinnamon sugar donuts, pumpkin pecan waffles, and coconut cream pie. Okay. So the same but different. And these bags feel different. Some of them feel like super thick and some feel kind of thin. I don't care. Oh, this is good. How have I not been buying a lot of her coffee? Mmm. Espresso, cinnamon sugar donuts, pumpkin pecan waffles, coconut cream pie, the espresso, the coconut cream pie. Oh my gosh, it is so in here. Coconut cream pie, delicious. Pumpkin pecan waffles, I'm getting too. Cinnamon sugar donuts, I'm not really smelling that, but it could be just mixing in with pumpkin pecan waffles and just smelling it as that. Oh gosh, this is so good. Wow. Maybe she has my favorite coffee. <laughs> that is scrumptious. Coffee Express. Wow. Okay, icicles. Ooh, very excited for this one. Very excited. This is eucalyptus and thyme, rosemary mint, and flannel sheets. Yes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow. Flannel sheets mixed with that eucalyptus and thyme. Wow, wow, wow. I love thyme and wax. Oh my gosh, this is like clean, cold air. And laundry. This is amazing. Eucalyptus and thyme, rosemary mint, and flannel sheets. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is another one. I can't wait to warm this one in my bedroom. So good. So, so. I did not strike out at all in this order. So happy. I still have a few left. Bloody Mary. This is Egyptian Musk, Boom Boom Type, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I feel like the day of the order, people were talking about this. Like when I was looking at the list. Oh my gosh. This is magical. Egyptian musk, boom boom type, vanilla bean Noel. The boom boom type mixed with that vanilla bean Noel and the Egyptian musk, it's like, wow, it does something delicious to the boom boom. I like boom boom, I do. I have burnt myself out on it over the years. But this combination is, um, Pretty remarkable on cold. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm curious if I'm sure everybody picked this up. If you've ever had it before and warmed it. And if you, oh, I just put some in my mouth. If you consider this, like I just kind of associate boom boom with summer. Is this something you would melt anytime or? Wow. This is like. Keep thinking to myself, there's really boom boom cream in here. 
but beautiful, beautiful combination with that Egyptian mosque. And again, got more wax in my mouth. This is so good. Bloody Mary, I know that this is popular. I would love to know who has worn that before. Um, Cottontail, Boardwalk, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Saltwater Princess, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't know what Saltwater Princess is. Sorry. I don't know if it's fruit or if it has taffy or I could be totally way off. It could just be like sea salt. Hmm. Okay, so I can smell the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, which, I mean, let's be real. It's a light scent. So... I when I ordered this, I expected it to just be like kind of like one that like hums in the background, not to be one when I open my door. I can smell it, which I'm totally fine with. We have to have some like lighter blends, right? Not everybody likes to be walking out of their house smelling like the wax that they're warming in their home. I like to, but I knew that with this one. So this is light. On cold, just on cold. I've never, ever, ever warmed this. I'm going to. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Saltwater Princess, Vanilla Bean Noel. It smells good though. This one I think will sit for a while, not because I think it's going to get stronger, I'm not thinking that, but to me, this is more like a May June kind of thing. Which, I mean, let's be real. We all have plenty of wax. There's no way that I would get to all of this before summer anyway. Okay. This is Christmas Mint. Oh, yeah. I was very excited for this one, too. Santa's Tree Farm, Rosemary Mint, and Cashmere. Which, Cashmere can be... I either really love it or I don't like it. Like, I just... some interpretations of it or maybe their oil of it is very off to me this is lovely oh my gosh santa's tree farm wow santa's tree farm smells like a tree farm i want to be walking through while it's snowing this smells amazing rosemary mint ties in so nicely with the trees mm. and the cashmere is just it's a pretty one. It's not, I can, I can't even really describe when it's bad, when it's bad to me, the way that it actually smells. It's just so off-putting and this is, this is not, this, I almost can't even detect it in here, which I'm not really surprised because trees are super, super strong <laughs> and rosemary mint, super, super strong. Um, oh my gosh. This is so good, Christmas mint. Again, I'm gonna say it, I should have bought more. I don't need more. No, okay, so there isn't a, a, an invoice. I couldn't remember if they include them or not. And my last one is Coconut Crack. People must have been raving about this because it just doesn't seem like something <laughs> that I would order. Um, so it's coconut, coconut cream pie, coconut shortbread cookies, pie crust, and sugar cookie dough. Mm. Pie crust and shortbread I get, and coconut. It's good. I think this is gonna be like very rich when I warm it. I don't know. Coconut on cold never smells the way it smells on warm. I know, that's with a lot of wax, but this, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't really smell, I'm sure the way it's going to smell when I warm it, that coconut. Because this, on cold, smells a little um, suntan coconut mixed with bakery. The pie crust. Sugar cookie dough, pie crust, shortbread cookies. Definitely shortbread, shortbread cookies. There is that buttery element in here for sure. So that is coconut crack. Again, one that in my opinion, I would most likely wait um, 
but it is heavy bakery, so who knows? I mean, this could be melted next week. It might get melted in February. I have no idea. But I, I'm definitely glad that I picked one up. So that is my very lovely pharmacist daughter pre-order. Ordered October 7th. Again, that is their business card of all the ways that you can find the pharmacist daughter. And I am so excited. I seriously, when Megan and I were talking yesterday, I figured like I'd probably see it closer to December. So very impressed, very impressed. They may have put on their Facebook group that they started shipping. You guys, I can't get sucked back in. I try to stay off of um, wax. Facebook groups. I have to because I get FOMO and I have to remember Christmas is coming and I have teenagers and they like nice stuff. So that is everything. Please let me know down below if you've tried any of the things that I have here. If you ordered from this October pre-order, if your stuff has come, were other things offered besides souffles? I honestly, I don't remember. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Take care.